What's up guys, and welcome to Mordor. Um, this is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor game, um, <laughs> by Monolith, and it's pretty amazing. I've been playing it for, uh, Steam says about 11 hours, but um, it's just the only thing I've been playing recently enough with my uh, new computer. It's pretty cool, it's got some neat little tricks. Um, you play as Talion, he's a ranger on the Black Gate, and his family is murdered by uh, generals of Sauron, and his body's taken over by a wraith, which is this guy. And I'm not going to spoil it for you, but he's a f fairly important elf in the lore of uh, Tolkien. And, um, yeah, uh, anyone who doesn't know, I'm obsessed with Lord of the Rings and all Tokyo lore in general and yeah this game has lore up to its eyeballs it also has really cool stuff like rate abilities you can just kill orcs from a distance using a thing called a shadow strike well I had to unlock that obviously um, being 11 hours in I'm fairly well into the game I've, I think I'm about two thirds of the way through um, but I had to, uh, to get a really good feel for it. Um, optimization wise, I'm running this on uh, GTX 970, so it's pretty much max settings and uh, the minimum frame rate I get is about 50, usually a solid 60. Um, so what this game does differently is it actually immerses you fairly well. Uh, dying in this game is a very real thing. Um, like, if I'm killed by a chief, well, I'll show you the nemesis system first, and uh, that'll explain it. So, this is the nemesis system. This is uh, Sauron's army. As you can see, at the top rank are war chiefs. These are elite captains. These are captains, and these are just other captains. Um, you can also be veteran captains, but they move up the ranks from bottom up to war chief. Um, as you can see, some of these guys are glowing. That's because I own them. I've branded them, and they now work for me and the Wraith. Um, once you own them, you can control most all of their men. And uh, you can also tell them to do things. Like, I've told this um, worker, Goroth All Eater. He was fairly difficult to kill. Um, I've told him to... Um, What have I told him? I've told him to attack this guy while he's on a hunt. This is Korra the Drowned. Um, he's a f As you can see, his weaknesses and strengths. He has a fear of burning. He can be damaged by combat finishers, but he's invulnerable to stealth, invulnerable to range. He's a monster slayer. He's a poison weapon. He's a quick shot. He's battle hardened, and he has an inspiring presence. Uh, nearby orcs are inspired to attack simultaneously, which is really annoying. He's also deadly. Attacks do much more damage than most orcs. So we could go kill him, but uh, I'll leave it for a while. Um, I own all the war chiefs in this area because I had to for the the story. But um, that may sound grindy, but it's not. It was so much fun. There's actually one point where um, a war chief killed me three or four times, and they remember killing you. They get stronger each time they kill you, and they, they taunt you when you come back. Like, one of his taunts was, every time you face me, you die, or you soften the head. So naturally, I gathered an army to go attack him. Um, Combat-wise, it's a lot like um, people have compared it to Batman. Batman games. But, um, which is true. And the gameplay is also like um, Assassin's Creed. Got a lot of finishers like this. So you got the finisher, and I'll try to show you the Ray Flash. If I can get my. It's kind of an AoE ability. It just stuns everybody, it doesn't kill anyone of it, unfortunately. Just kills people, though. <laughs> Insta kill uh, combat finisher. 
I just destroyed that guy's shield straight away. Uh, as you can see in the top left corner, well, it's gone now, but um, I had a, a combo, uh, 32 hits. Um, the more hits, you, oh, this guy's just really annoying. The more hits you get, the more powerful your attacks get. So you can break shields instantly. You can also free slaves and stuff from the orcs. And they'll give you missions, usually. Once they get away. Um, you can also grab people and brand them. This refills your elf shot, which is the, the bow and arrow and your focus. And uh, now he's mine. So I can control him and kill people. Well, he'll fight for me. Essentially. So, um... This game is pretty awesome. Oh, they call me... Th they call you the Grave Walker. You can also use fires to, um... If I can hit the fire. Explode things. Um, which is a lot of fun, really. Um, all in all, this game is just awesome. Uh, I'm gonna show you one of the beasts. This is a Karagor. I thought it was a warg the first time I saw it. But you can mount them. I've unlocked the ability to shadow mount them. Usually you have to be above it and um, use a quick time event to mount it, but um, you can just mount these ones straight away. Uh, they climb and stuff too. You can also mount uh, Grogs, which are massive, massive enemies. They're um, similar to uh, Balrogs, but in flesh form. If you know anything about the Lord of the Rings lore. Um, oh, fun side note, by the way. I'm using um, uh, NVIDIA Shadowplay to record this. It's the first time I've done that. And uh, it seems to be holding up pretty well. The frame rate count is good. Uh, from previous like small recordings I've done, the audio isn't too bad compared to Fraps. I mean, Fraps' audio is pretty amazing. So, oh, that's a lot of orcs. Right, we're gonna run away. Where are we? I'm gonna hide first. I'm gonna see how many I can take out without having to run away. So like it's got these really cool slow mo bits and it's really stylish. It's like a, it's more of a spectacle fighter than anything else. But that's not a bad thing. In some instances that's actually a good thing. Oh, you can also stun people, which uh, is very effective, and this usually blows their head off. Like that. Which um, terrifies the surrounding orcs and gets them to run away. So, all in all, just a great game, really. It's worth spending hours and hours on it. There's an intel there. If the cargo doesn't kill it for me, I'll be able to grab that orc. I think it's an orc anyway. Yeah, I'll be able to grab him and interrogate him. Dominate him. And get into him. Um, so, basically you learn all about the captain from these worms. You interrogate them, you take over their mind. And I know the strengths and weaknesses of the most of these because I've gone through this area a lot of times. But, um. Okay, we'll learn about, um. We'll learn about Tumug. Tumug, the surgeon. So we've learned his. Int we've learned intel about him. So, his weaknesses he has a fear of Morg Morgai flies. He's a fear of his rival, Goroth the All Eater. 
so I could send Goroth the All Eater after him, and he'd be terrified. Um, because I own Goroth the All Eater. He's damaged by range attacks, um, so he can be injured by uh, range shots and that Shadow Strike I showed you earlier. And he's damaged by combat finishers. Um, he calls nearby enemies in to, to join the fight with one of his strengths. He's an inspiring presence. Nearby orcs are inspired to attack simultaneous and he, and he, uh, in simultaneously. And he regenerates health. Which makes him a bit tough. But, um... There you go. You can see his motive there. He's reveling in the supremacy of the orcs. So... And we can just dismiss this guy. And leave the character just... Wreck stuff. Oh damn, he died. I'm gonna show you you can throw people into the fire. Oh, here's one. Well, there was one. Okay, um, Karagor is powerful, okay? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good thing, man. They're terrifying beasts. And I control them. Uh, he's nearly dead, actually. He's got very low health. So... Oh, I'll show you the progression system. So, weapons and runes. Um, you have three weapons. Your sword, your bow, and your dagger, which is actually, um... a broken sword. No, I thought you'd be able to see it, but it's just a broken sword. Um, and once you kill a captain or a war chief, they drop they drop these runes. And here's the sword runes I have. There's nine of them. Um, this one, for example, increases the stun and knockdown durations on melee attacks. That's for all melee attacks, not just the sword. Uh, well, most of the melee attacks are the sword. Um, defined to the end, never surrenders. You gain an additional last chance and return to the fray in combat against orcs. So, like, basically, when you're dead, when you're dead, you have a little quick time event to try bring yourself back to life, um, and then attack, keep attacking. It's very handy. Um, Fifty-eight percent chance to recover full health when hit streak reaches thirty. I like that because I get a fairly high kill streak or not kill streak, hit streak usually, and health is uh, a resource in this game. Uh, there's also ones I don't have. Uh, Grim Resolve, fifteen percent defense against range attacks. Um, I got that for killing Mooseglob Bladesmith, which I, I could have sworn I killed four times, maybe. But, um, anyway, you can also convert it to um, Mirian. I think it's Mirian. I, I, I'll have to have a look at that. But, um, yeah, we convert it to 25M. Uh, in terms of lore, this game is covered it. Oh, I haven't done any of the collecting stuff. You can get uh, artifacts and uh, Ithildin, which is the door. Or the wall, even. Sorry, excuse me. But, um, it's got nature, ghouls, ghoul matrons, Olag Grog, legendary Grog. I had to kill that thing. And it's also got the people, here got Ternos, Erin, Yorath, Deerheil, Rangers of the Black Gate, Wraiths, blah blah blah. Oh, um, golems in this game, <laughs> in case anyone was interested. And Ratbag. Ratbag's a new character. Very, very, uh, interesting, shall we say. And, uh, yeah, it's just a lot of the lore of, um, of Tolkien. These are the three main enemies the Hammer of Sauron, the Tower of Sauron, and the Black Hand of Sauron. The hammer is Sauron's representative of his power and battle ability. The tower is his representative of malice, and the black hand is his representative of lies. The black hand, I think, is the final boss in this. There's also lore to do with, um, yeah, it's Miriam. That's the, the money thing. Um, the lore of Miriam runes Mordor, Moran and Udun, or Rodruin. Barador and you have little visions that you see and tutorials so if you want to learn more about Tolkien lore this is the game to get uh, I have an upgrade oh you can spend the Miriam to upgrade things oh 
can get my focus up. I've got a focus. That's good. Um, progression, it shows I've 20, 19 of the 20 main missions done. Weird. Um, oh, that's, uh, I'm nearly done, so I suppose. But I haven't done any other missions. <laughs> like, none. So, there's a lot more to do in this game that I haven't even looked at yet. Um, this is the uh, progression system. It gives you, you get an ability point every level you go up. Uh, not sure what level I am now, it doesn't really matter. But you get an ability point. Uh, one of the most recent ones I've unlocked is Blade Master, which reduces the hit streak from 8 hits to 5. And Resilience, which gives you the ability to absorb one hit without the hit streak being reset, which is very handy. I don't, can't tell you how many times I've had on like a 45 hit streak. And he's hit by an arrow from a distance, and it just destroys the whole thing. Um, also, unlock the shadow mount, which you can mount a, a Karagor or a Grog instantly using Shadow Strike. So, overall thoughts of this game? Um, maybe my game of the year. I haven't played that many games this year because I've been in college and doing everything and anything besides gaming. But it's definitely the best game I've played in a very long time. It's just so immersive. And it's just fun, which is one of the things that a lot of people forget about about games, is that they're actually fun. And you can go around just killing rocks. And eating them for breakfast. Just run away. They might remember that, but you know, a lot of these guys fear you. So that's something you should remember. Um, these towers that don't exist, they only exist to the Wraith, are basically your save points. Well, not your save points, but if you die, you respawn here. And they're just cool to leap off and stuff. Because you get a little invincibility of the wraith. You come back as Talion the Ranger. So yeah, this game is pretty awesome. It's so beautiful. It's so fun. It's just everything you need in the game. Now, well, I'm gonna go kill some Oryx. And I'll see you guys the next day. Have fun.